Hi, I'm Professor Zubair Jahangir and I'm going to give you some important tips for your exams which will help you score well. Now, one very important tip that I know you all are trying to get exemptions and clear with good marks, but the very first thing is you should be eligible to give the exams. Now, when I say eligible means what? You need to carry few important documents with you so you can give your exams without any hassles. Now, the first requirement is you require your student identity card. Second, you require your admit card and third, you require photo ID proof like your driver's license, Aadhaar card, which could be a Xerox as well. Now, with respect to your exam tips, okay, some important points that you keep in mind. First, carry your watch. Second, you have to time yourself for every question. You have to see that every five mark answer gets over in seven minutes max. In six minutes, you will start wrapping up the answer and in seven minutes, you will conclude and eighth minute, you should be on the next question. This should be the average time so that you complete your paper on time. Second, you will be given the question paper first. So go through the entire question papers and choose the questions that you want that you would be attempting first which will get you more marks third correct many students quote it wrongly or go very fast you take your time for every answer quote it properly third important thing is know all the chapters if you are skipping any chapter at least lead the lesson roundup or call up a friend and tell them to give you a small summary or at least from our scanners, which is there in our uh, app as well in the free study material section, at least go through the past year exam questions. Now, with respect to GIGL, this will be your paper pattern. Now pay attention to this very, very well. Okay. Now, for, this is your paper pattern. Question one will be four questions of five marks each. Okay. Then in question number two, you will get options. And question number six, you will get an option to attempt six or six A, two and two A. But I'm most concerned is with question number five, which is two questions for eight marks. If you notice, most of the questions are for four marks. Most of your questions are for four marks. Only two questions, that is question number one, will have five mark questions and question number five will have eight mark questions two eight mark questions okay so it is my advice that start your paper with question number five okay start with question number five then go to question number one so what will happen you will cover the main chapters and you will attempt it very well as well i'll give you few more tips for it now, when I say start with question number eight, now question, question number five, which is for eight marks. Remember for that after 12 PM, since your exam is at 2 30 from 12 PM onwards, start reading constitution of India right before your paper, because from the eight marks, you will notice that see from the five mark question that we are talking about, which is for eight marks constitution of india question always comes so this is one okay then if you see again your uh you know sometimes they don't ask but most of the times if you go to see this is your constitution of india question again this is for eight marks okay two questions for eight marks now again ipc crpc they have asked okay then if you go to see again article 21 they ask this is of constitution of India. So most common short short, you could say that most highest probability of the eight marks is your constitution of India question. Okay. So better do the constitution of India chapter thoroughly. And from here, generally they ask you article 14, article 19, article 21 writs, and they ask you the Another important thing is the structure of the constitution. Okay. Structure, whether it is unitary or federal, it's actually quasi federal. You will mention that. And then you will write the, uh, when the union government can make 
कैन लेजिस्लेट ऑन मैटर्स गिवन इन द स्टेट लिस्ट ओके सो वेन देर इज इमरजेंसी वेन द स्टेट टू स्टेट देमसेल्स हैव कंसेंटेड सो दोज क्वेश्चन आर वेरी कॉमन इन योर एट मार्क क्वेश्चन सेकेंड द अदर वे टू टारगेट इज यू रीड द कैटेगरी ए चैप्टर्स which you will also get if you just search the chapter wise weightage i have my lecture on that the grade 1 chapter start reading all after 12 pm so you have good 2 to 2 and a half hours to complete those and you start with those chapters so you will remember the wordings you will be able to attempt the answer properly and after question number 5 then attempt question number 1 which is of 5 marks each so you try to memorize all the grade a chapters after 12 just in the end remember constitution of india because that is what you will start with so your paper will be very very nicely started okay now so these are my tips if you have any difficulty you can be uh, join any of the whatsapp groups or the telegram groups and message me i am there for you all okay and this is it do not waste time to look here look there ask anyone just take the pen and start writing do not waste time because the papers are lengthy and the average size of the paper the one answer could be for one and a half side one side okay as the content is more important than the quantity okay that is it i wish you all the very best good luck